A Green Kid's Guide to Watering Plants by Richard Lay Illustrated by Laura Zarin Are you ready to plant? Gardeners are people who grow plants. Being green means learning how to live on Earth without hurting it. You have been working hard to be a green gardener. You've built your raised bed and made compost. And you fertilized your soil. Now, it is time to plant and water your fruits and vegetables. Green gardeners understand that plants need water, but they do not waste it. Green gardeners learn how to arrange their plants to conserve water. Close read. Vocabulary in context. Authors will sometimes tell you what a word means in the same sentence. Underline the meaning of gardeners. Arrange. To put in a neat or specific way. Study, study, study. A green gardener learns about plants before planting them. Different plants have different needs. Some plants need a lot of water to grow. Others need little water. A green gardener also learns about the weather where he or she lives. Some places get a lot of rain. Others get little rain and a lot of sun. Some areas have soil that won't grow certain plants. A green gardener grows only what is best for his or her area. Study what will grow best in your area. Then, make a list of what plants to put in your raised bed. Close read. Ask and answer questions. Highlight a text detail on this page that you can generate or ask a question about. Certain. Particular. Some. Where to plant. When you were studying, you probably noticed that plants need different amounts of water. Plants that grow on vines, such as cucumbers, need less water. Other plants, like beans, need more water. A green gardener can conserve water by planting in groups. Grow vegetables with vines together. Grow beans in another part of the garden. Then you will not waste water on plants that may not need it. Another way to conserve water is to grow plants in squares instead of rows. When the plants are older, their leaves touch each other. This makes a covering over the bed and reduces evaporation. Close read. Identify text structure. This page has a cause and effect structure. An effect tells what happens. A cause tells why something happens. Underline words that help you recognize the effect of planting in groups. It's time to plant. To plant seeds or seedlings, first smooth the soil with a rake. Remove any rocks, sticks, or trash. Cover the soil with compost. Then water it to make it moist, but not soggy. Close read. Identify text structure. This text tells what to do first, next, and last. Underline the word first, then underline the words that tell you what to do first. Moist, slightly wet. Soggy, very wet, soaked. To plant seeds, take a small stick and make rows. Make holes the right depth for the seeds. Larger seeds should be down about 1 inch, 3 centimeters. Smaller seeds should stay at the top of the soil. It is best to put two or more seeds in each hole. That way, you can be sure to get plants in every hole. Finally, after planting the seeds or seedlings, check the soil. Do not let it dry out. Green gardeners keep soil moist. Close read. Identify text structure. Underline the word finally. It tells what to do last. Then, underline the last thing you should do when you plant seeds or seedlings. Are they thirsty? 
Your seeds are planted and shoots are coming up. A green gardener checks the soil every day to see if the plants need water. Plants use their roots to drink. Roots have little hairs that take water from the ground. Then the water is sent to the rest of the plant. So, plants can only get water that is underground. Some gardeners use too much water. They waste it. This is a problem. Our planet has little water to use for people and plants. Green gardeners understand that plants need water, but they do not waste it. Green gardeners conserve water. Close read. Ask and answer questions. Highlight a sentence you can ask a question about. Plants hate showers. Some gardeners make a big mistake. They give their plants showers. They use sprinklers in the garden. But plants hate showers. They love baths. Sprinklers put most of the water on the leaves. But plants cannot get water through the leaves. They can only get water from the roots. One of the best ways to get water to the roots is to use soaker hoses. These are water hoses with little holes in them. When you turn on the faucet, Water slowly drips into the ground. Water then goes to the roots. Close read. Identify text structure. Underline the words that tell what causes water to go to the roots. Some gardeners place their soaker hoses near where the plant goes into the ground. To use less water, green gardeners bury their soaker hoses. That way, the water comes out by the roots. Close read. Place. Put or set. When to give your plants a drink. To check the soil, pick up a handful of dirt and squeeze it. If you can make a ball, do not add water. If you cannot make a ball, your soil is dry. It is time to water your plants. Green gardeners water in the morning. This is when the air is cooler. So, more water gets into the ground, and they use less water. The amount of time you water depends on your plants and soil. After watering for a while, dig down 12 inches, 30 centimeters, in the raised bed. If the bottom of the hole is damp, you have watered enough. Close read. Identify text structure. Underline two effects of watering plants in the morning. Stop losing water. The sun can evaporate water in the ground. It makes water hot and changes it into a gas. The gas then rises. Because of this, soil loses water. Stop losing water. The sun can evaporate water in the ground. It makes water hot and changes it into a gas. The gas then rises. Because of this, soil loses water. Soil with no covering loses a lot of water. A green gardener conserves water by making a covering for the soil. You can cover the garden soil with compost. Another covering for your garden is mulch. Straw is good mulch. Old newspapers can be mulch. Both will help keep water in the soil. It is important to cover soil in the fall and winter. A good covering for this time of the year is winter ryegrass. It will also give plants food in the spring. Close read. Vocabulary in context. Other words in the text can help you understand a new word. Underline the words that help you understand the meaning of mulch. Harvest the rain. A green gardener can also conserve water by saving rain. During the summer, it may not rain very much. This is not a problem. With an adult's help, you can collect rain by making a rain barrel. A green gardener uses the water in the rain barrel to reduce the water taken from Earth. And this water is free of chemicals that may hurt his or her plants. You need water. Plants need water. 
But a green gardener does not waste water. A green gardener conserves it. Close read. Ask and answer questions. Highlight a text detail that you might understand in a deeper way if you ask a question about it.